Hello and welcome to quantitative aptitude video from careerright.com. In this video, we will be dealing with the problems on permutations and combination. By the end of this video, you would be in a comfortable position when dealing with the problems from this chapter in any time bound examination. May it be a bank exam, may it be a government exam or may it be exam for an entry to a B school. Now let's begin. From a group of 6 red balls and 5 green balls, 5 balls are to be selected so that at least 3 red balls are there. Now how many ways are there by which it can be done? Now there are 6 red balls and 5 green balls and 5 balls are to be selected. So the total possibilities can be if 5 balls needed to be selected and at least 3 red balls should be there, the so minimum possibility would be 3 red balls and 2 green balls. Other than that, it would be 4 red ball and 1 green ball or all the balls are red. Now, we will find out the total ways. So, there are three. the first case is 3 red balls and 2 green balls. So, it would be 6C3 and 5C2. That is the first case. The second case would be 6C4 and 5C1. That is the second case. And when all the balls are red, it would be 6C5. So, we know how to calculate NCR, that is N factorial upon N minus R factorial into R factorial. So, you will solve here 6 factorial, 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2, divided by 6 minus 3 factorial, that is 3 into 2, and R factorial, that is 3 factorial, that is 3 into 2. So, you must have got an idea how to calculate 6C3. Similarly, we will do 5C2, that is 5 factorial, divided by 5 minus 2 factorial, that is 3 factorial, 3 into 2, upon 2 factorial. We will solve these two in a similar fashion. And eventually, we will get 200 plus 50 plus 6, that is 256. Therefore, a required number of ways is 256. Second question, in how many ways can the letter of words picture be arranged in such a way that the vowels always come together? Now picture has seven different letters and uh, the question is saying vowels should always come together so E, U and I should always be together. So what we will do here is we will assume E, U, I to be a one letter, a single letter. So the total number of letters here would be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 4 plus 1, 5, letters can be arranged in 5 factorial ways, that is 120 ways. The Now, we have calculated it, 120 ways. Now, we need to take care of one fact as well. EUI, though we have assumed it as one letter, but there can be shuffling inside EUI. UIE can be there, IUE can be there, UIE can be there, or EIU can be there. So, the vowel EUI can also be arranged among themselves in 3 factorial ways, because there are 3 letters, so 6 ways. Therefore, required number of ways of arranging letter picture in such a way that vowels always come together would be 120 into 6 that goes up to 720 as an answer. Third question. A team has two men, three ladies and four kids. In how many ways can three people be selected if at least one lady is to be included in the draw? Now, there are two men, three ladies and four kids and three people need to be selected if at least one lady needs to be there. So the, so the least case would be one lady and left two others. Then two ladies left one others or the last case would be there are all three ladies. So in similar fashion we will calculate 3C1 that is there are three ladies and one is selected so 3C1 left there are six candidates and other candidates are 2 which we are sele selecting so 6C2 then other case 2 ladies so 3C2 three, three, three and 1 other so 6C1 and all the 3 ladies so 3C1 so by calculating NCR we get 45 plus 18 plus 1 which goes up to 64 as a required number of ways now 4 how many 3 digits number can be formed from digits 1, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 which are divisible by 5 and none of the digits is repeated. Now, 
three digit number is there so there would be a unit place there would be a tens place and there would be a hundreds place so since each desired number is divisible by five we have to make sure that it is divisible by five so units place would always be having five so there is no doubt about it so there is one way of doing this now leftover digits are one four six seven and eight so there are five possible ways of filling tens digit so five ways of filling tens place now one of these digits would go up to 10 place then there would be only four numbers left here so for hundreds place there are four ways of filling it so one into five into four one for unit five for tens place and four for hundreds place five into four twenty would be the answer fifth question in how many different ways can letter of word nature be arranged in such a way that the consonants occupy only the odd positions now there are six letters in word out of which three are vowels and three are consonants so we first of all we'll write down six positions one two three four and five and six now three consonants can be placed at any of these three places out of four and as the question says only odd positions so one 3 and 5 are the places where they can be kept 3 cons consonants so the number of ways of arranging the consonants would be 3 p3 there are 3 places and there are 3 characters which need to be placed in three, these 3 places so they would be it would be 3 factorial so 6 ways also the 3 vowels can be arranged in remaining 3 places so the number of ways of these uh, this arrangement would be 3 p3 similarly 3 factorial 6 factorial now the total number of ways by which word nature can be arranged in such a way that consonants occupy only odd positions and the remaining vowels are arranged in left over positions would be 6 into 6 that would be 36 so we've got our answer i hope this video would prove useful to everyone who seeks a bit of information on which type of how, how many types of questions are asked in this topic and how are they solved thank you